64-year-old William Jeffrey Lumpkin of Fishers, Indiana, was identified Thursday as the pilot who crashed near Venice Municipal Airport Wednesday night, killing him, his wife, and another Indiana couple. The NTSB is now investigating what may have contributed to the fatal crash, including weather, visibility, pilot fitness, and any issues with the aircraft. On Thursday, we reported how Venice Municipal Airport was the site of multiple previous fatal crashes, blamed on spatial disorientation due to the runway ending near the Gulf of Mexico. We've now learned that in 2016, Lumpkin received a special issuance medical certificate to pilot an aircraft. Commercial pilot Robert Katz, interviewed by phone, reviewed Lumpkin's FAA Airman Certificate. We see that that was uh, issued uh, with a firm expiration date of June 2017, meaning his certificate was not valid for any class after that date. In 2021, Lumpkin applied for a basic med certificate, a new kind of certification approved by Congress in 2017, which doesn't require small private plane pilots to be examined by aviation medical examiners, doctors who specialize in examining commercial pilots. It's a loophole. It's a workaround. Uh, it was brought about because the majority of the pilot community in the United States is getting older and will no longer qualify under the strict criteria that the FAA requires for pilot fitness. I thought that it made pilots more aware of their medical condition and, the, and their personal situations. Longtime pilot Richard McSpadden is executive director of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, which lobbied Congress in support of the basic med program. I think there's been some 75,000 pilots or so that fly under basic med, and, and it's important to realize it, it wasn't ever intended to be an easier program or a loophole. McSpadden says a recent FAA study found no difference in accident risk between basic med pilots and pilots holding third-class medical certificates, which are issued for private plane pilots. Under the requirements, basic med certificate holders must fill out health questionnaires every two years and be examined by their doctor every four years. That mm -hmm. seems like maybe a long time when you're dealing with older pilots in, in many cases here. Yeah, I, we just haven't seen that to be much of an issue. The FAA report says the basic med study findings do not include determination of accident causation. It also found basic med airmen are at an empirically greater risk of disease-related death because of their higher age. The I-team is also looking into whether the condition of the plane played any role in Wednesday's crash since it was previously damaged. Photos of the plane were posted on an online salvage auction website. It says it suffered aircraft gear collapse in Olive Branch, Mississippi, and was sold as is with no warranty for $43,000 in 2020. Records show Lumpkin registered the plane in June of 2021, the same month he received his basic med certification.